everybody. Layup Bomber 73 here. Got some stuff to show you. All right, let's roll. Damn, what the hell noise is that? Sound like the abominable snowman. Listen, I'm out here in the yard checking out all my trees, and this is what I see. Oh, not me. I see the buds. I've, I've showed you guys this tree. This is the contender peace tree in full bloom and bud. It's in full bloom. Okay? All over the tree now. It's not just two or three uh, buds anymore. But so is my methylene peach tree. I mean, oh, methylene plum tree. It's not kidding around anymore. It's budding out like crazy. So what that's telling me, let's, here you go, you can see it better. What that's telling me, you guys, is these trees are waking up. So if the tree is waking up, pretty soon we gonna have blooms and we gonna have fruit. That's also telling me that it's almost time for grafting. So I am going to show you guys, you need to be at home practicing this. First thing we gonna do is we gonna cut us off a, uh, we gonna cut us off a limb to practice with. Go all the way up. Can you see that? Yeah, gotta go. Okay. We got us a nice Zion. We're gonna practice on this. And I'm going to come right back, okay? Let's head back into this the This is what you need to practice. For the people that's growing trees from seed, you're not getting fruit. You may not ever get fruit. So this is how you get fruit. You cut your tree off. And for the people who want to learn how to graft, if you want to graft another kind of tree onto your existing tree, like a lemon onto an orange tree, an orange onto a lemon, a peach onto a plum, a plum onto a peach, a different kind of peach onto a peach, Whatever you want to do different kinds of apples on one apple tree. This is how you do that. Okay, so I'm gonna do a step by step I'm gonna cut that try not to drop it Okay, I'm gonna try to zoom in so we can get a good view of the cambium layer. Let's see if we that sunlight hold on that's killing me I thought that would help but that's almost that's harming us now we can see it See that? All right, I'm gonna show you something. You need a very, very sharp knife or razor blade. See that right there? This little whitish line around here, around the bark. That is a cambium layer. That is what we're gonna try to match up. I'm gonna make this as simple as I possibly can, but you need to understand something. Uh, a lot of people think this is hard. This is so, so easy. Okay? So, we already got this branch. Let me, let me cut this again because this is a whole big giant branch. I'm trying to twirl around here, okay? Okay, this is going to be our tree. We want to graft, say this is a Saturn peach, and we want to put a Red Haven peach on here, okay? This is all we do. Let me, let me cut this other piece because this is huge. You got to practice doing this. You need to start practicing now because you don't want to just up and try to do it and think it's going to work. All right? So, take this. Take this piece here. This is your tree. Just act like this is still on a tree. And this is how I do it. Take that and you split that sucker right down the middle. Just like that. Right down the middle. And rock it back and forth slow because if that razor blade or that sharp knife is really sharp, you will sit here and cut your dog on finger off and mine is that sharp. So we don't want to do that. See how that's, I'm got that slowly going in there? I don't want it to go too fast because I don't want to go too far and either cut myself or ruin this branch. So, that's what we got now. Okay, we got a split. Now, that little cambium layer right there. 
Let me turn it to the side, see if we can see it better. No, we can't. Right under the bark is what we're trying to match up, okay? Now, this is the piece that somebody just sent you or your friend just gave you. This is the Zion. Act like this is on the tree. This is the Zion. This is what we do with this piece. You whittle that into a wedge. If you just can't whittle it like this, lay it on a table or lay it on a cutting board, make it a lot easier, okay? I've done this several times, so it's a little easier for me. Okay, see that side right there? How I got that? You wanna make sure that's flush and flat. That's kinda hard to do. But you want that as flat as possible. And if you got a flat knife, that'll show you. See that little small gap in there? I don't want that gap. So I'm going to take off even more right there. Okay. We can't see through there no more, right? So my knife is solid and flat, and so is that. Okay. So now what we do, the trick to this, is now we hit the other side. Same way. Okay, now you see what we got? It ain't flat enough though. Good wedge, but not flat. Okay, you see that? That's flat, nice and flat. If you got any errors just go back and take the little crumbs off you don't want to sit here and be whittling on it like you trying to make a dog on flute but you want that flat see that to a point as pointy as you can get it just like that now what we matching up you can see the cambium layer way better on this piece see that right there we want to match that with the inside of the one that we split in half. Where'd you go? With this. So what we're gonna do is make sure that that light green piece right there on the line touches the light green on the line inside of this one right here. You can barely see it. Wait, ooh, my finger <laughs> right there, okay? You want that touching. Don't try to match the bark. Screw the bark, screw the center. We ain't worried about the center and we ain't worried about the brown bark. We're trying to get that to match. That's where all the juices run. That's where all the information run. That's where the nutrition run through. That what is, that is what, that's what's going to make this thing heal and mend together and say, hey, this is all one tree now. So it's this simple. You sit there and, and line those up just right. And get those in. Both sides don't have to match. Only one good side. Make sure at least one side matches and you golden. Okay? So don't be worried about the branch ain't big enough or it's not quite working. It don't fit on both sides. Don't worry about that. Your biggest worry is just to get that one side lined up and see. See how that side ain't touching nothing? I ain't worried about that side. I'm over here looking at this side that I'm doing. See that? That's touching. As long as that's touching inside there like that. Just like that. Now, what do we do now? I got all kind of stuff that uh, I bought for doing this, all kind of grafting tape and everything else. It worked, but it don't work. Nothing works like good old electrical tape. I almost have 100% uh, success rate just using this. And trust and believe, I've, I got it all. I got all kind of grafting tape and them just always end up weird for me. This is the goal. Okay. Get us some tape. Yeah, that was hood. 
And it's this simple. You wrap that tape as tight as you can around what you just did. Do your best not to move what you just did, but keep it tight. It's a little more difficult when you're doing it on the tree, but you take your time. Okay, don't be in no rush. If it's hot outside, make sure you do this early in the morning when it's a little cooler so you can concentrate better and the tree will take better. You don't want to be doing this in the blazing sun and heat. It, it seems like it never works that way. It, it will never take. See that? You just grafted yourself a new tree. What you want to do is just put this over it. And I didn't used to use these. I just bought these over the winter. So I've, I've never used one of these. So, but it's, it's a lot easier than me. What I used to use is a big old grocery bag, plastic grocery bag from one of these, uh, you know, grocery stores or something. Because what this does is seal in the moisture on this graft. You don't want this to dry out. As a matter of fact, take the tip of that right there and either put some, uh, just to make it a little easier for you, take that tip and put on a little either what they call that stuff, that grafting tar. I don't like that stuff. It's disgusting. So I just use wax from my beehives. Get some wax. You want to put something on that so that don't just start leaking out moisture. See that? I take that bee, bees wax. I don't care what you put on there. Some Vaseline, anything. Just kind of lock that and seal that over. Like that, put a plastic bag on top of it. Get you a little sandwich tie and twist that around the bottom and then put a paper bag over the top because you don't want the sun directly hitting it because it'll dry out and it will not take. Sometime I do that, sometime I don't, but put the paper bag over it, all right? Now let's go out and see exactly. So now, you let that sit, and each and every one of those buds is going to start swelling up. Don't be impatient. Don't take that tape off yet. Let that tape sit on there for about 30 days, even two months sometime. Let it sit on there, because all of that gap in there and all of that is going to heal, and it's going to be become one branch. Now that I just showed you how to graft, if you just planted anything from seed, this is a way you can get fruit for sure now, okay? So with that, I'm gonna go out now and show you some of my old graphs and you'll get the chance to see exactly what this is gonna look like in about a year or two. Hold on. Okay, you guys. Now I'm about to show you uh, what my graphs look like. So you can get an idea of what yours is going to look like. I forgot to put my hat on. It's a little chilly out here on my head. Okay, I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. I'll check it out. After you're done, this is what your graphs are going to look like. This was done last summer. See that? See the wedge that I had on there? You can see the V right there. I cut this into a V, and this was the saddle, and I sat that right down on there. And as you can see, now we have a whole, <clears throat> this whole piece here grew. That wasn't there. This was just one piece. See that little piece is coming off? This was just, just like the piece I just showed you. From here to here, that was it. And now it done grew this, it's grown that, and it's growing that. And that was late, late last summer. And what apple tree did I grab? That's the Wolf River apple. Oh, damn, that came off right in my hand. I got to remark that. That's the Wolf River apple right there. Graph. Okay, that was just last year. The original tree is a Granny Smith. This is a Granny Smith tree. But I've grafted so many different trees onto it. This is the Wolf River. I'm going to show you the other graft. Oh, you can barely see it nowadays. Let me see. This, 
See that wedge right there? You can barely see it. You don't know what I done no more. That looked like it's supposed to be there. This is the pink lady apple where a branch was coming off right here. And I did the same thing. Wedge it down there. You can't tell that I done that. This whole thing, this was only this tall to here. And this whole big giant branch grew from that cutting. So all of this that goes over here is from that one cutting. So that's special to me. Now we got uh, this other one over here. This was one of my first. This is the Gold Delicious Apple. That's the Gold Delicious Apple. And you can still kind of see where I did it. I did this maybe two years ago. See that slide V right there? Couple more years, you won't see nothing. So this V from here straight up, all of this is gold and delicious. All of this whole part of the tree, this is half of the tree right here. Gold delicious. All of this, what you see is gold delicious. Over there is Granny Smith. All of this is Granny Smith over there. Now, I grafted onto this graft. I, I grafted, uh, where, where is that? That graft. And I turned around and graft on, and I don't even remember what the rest of this is. Right here, and you can't tell where that is at all. This is Fuji Apple. All of this is Fuji Apple. And onto the Fuji Apple piece, I grafted on right here. You can barely see the wedge anymore. See that? That is um, a red delicious apple. And I can go on and on and on with this all day long. So my point is, you can turn your apple tree into anything you want, any kind of apple you want. You could turn a peach tree. If you like, you bought this peach tree and you've been growing it for years, you finally eat the peach and the peach is terrible. And you don't like it, which is rare. Change it by grafting. It's that simple. That tree, I could go on all day. I got about, I'm going to say anywhere from six to ten grafts on that tree. Because I changed the tree. Here's my uh, Saturn peach tree right here. And I cut this whole thing off because I was going to, I restructured it. This is that big peach tree that I took all the peaches off last year. I cut it off. Look at that. To restructure it. But I left this here and let this piece grow on the side. That's still Saturn peach. But I'm going to graft onto here that new blood, uh, blood peach. And maybe on here, I love that Red Haven. And I'm liking what that contender doing. So I can make two or three different peach trees out of one peach. And for all the people that don't have as much space as I do, where you can have 20 doggone fruit trees, this is a good way where you can have several different fruit trees pollinating each other so you don't have to buy two pollinators to pollinate to give you more fruit. You will just have one tree that's doing all the work. That's a way to save space if you got a small yard, a, a apartment building, you stay in a condo, something like that. This is how you do it. I just showed you how to, number one, save money. Number two, if, you, if you're growing from seed, this is a must. This is another way you can make money. Plant a whole bunch of seedlings and then take pieces of each grafted tree and make you a whole new tree now you ain't selling a seedling you will be selling exactly what that other tree is you might sell a meyer lemon you'll be selling a granny smith apple you'll be selling a red haven peach not a what the hell is this so i hope this helped you guys if you got any questions leave some comments down in the box below and i do my best to answer them because this is literally that simple it's a whole bunch of different ways to graft this one just works well for me because it's so simple, okay? So if you want to learn other ways to graph, email me and then we can get into that. 
but this is the way I always do it. I don't, all that other stuff, I'll be like, hmm. So, all right, I hope this helped you. Live from 73, and I am out. Stay positive.